The fire is still burning on the Colonial Pipeline in Alabama two days after an explosion killed one worker and injured five others. But the flame is much smaller than it has been. Now, officials say they hope to repair the pipeline as early as this weekend, but repairs can't begin until the fire is out and the area cools down. Fox Rise Claire Sims talked to the governor about what you can do to help ease the pain at the pump while crews make repairs. Governor Nathan Deal says we can all help keep gas prices low by only filling up when we really need to. Everybody is afraid that the price is going to spike. Everybody's afraid that there will be a shortage. So therefore, you fill up every vehicle you have, every container that you have, just in case uh, those things happen. Governor Nathan Deal hopes to calm what he calls the hysteria surrounding yet another interruption in the flow of gasoline to our state. The Colonial Pipeline had to shut down after an explosion Monday in Alabama. That pipeline covers thousands of miles and provides gasoline to states all over the East Coast, including Georgia. There's obviously a, a, a large spike in demand and less supply in the marketplace right now. Andy Milton is the senior vice president of supply at Mansfield Oil based in Gainesville. We reached him via FaceTime and he says the pipeline problem has led to gas prices rising anywhere from 10 to 20 cents per gallon. Colonial reports they should have the pipeline back online in the next few days. And Milton says that would stop the prices from soaring as high as they did during September's outage. And I would expect prices to go back down uh, within the following weeks. In the meantime, Governor Deal urges Georgians not to top off their tanks unnecessarily. Those kind of spikes are based on demand. And if we can keep that excessive demand from actually taking place uh, and give them the proper time, and I think they've indicated if we can get the, the main pipeline uh, in operation by Saturday, uh, the jobbers indicate to us that there will not be any shortages at all, and that's what we're hoping for. Governor Deal says he's hopeful that pipeline will be back up and running by this weekend. Reporting in Atlanta, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.